It was the biggest celebrity scandal of 2014, but one of the famous actresses affected says the phone hacking nude photo leak wasn't a scandal, it was a sex crime. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Jennifer Lawrence has broken her silence on the matter, admitting that she started writing an apology, before realizing she had nothing to apologize for. She told Vanity Fair, I was so scared. I didn't know how it would affect my career. Just because I'm a public figure, just because I'm an actress, doesn't mean I asked for it, she says. That doesn't mean it comes with the territory. It's my body, it should be my choice, and the fact that it's not my choice is absolutely disgusting. I can't believe we even live in this kind of world. Her comments were incorporated into an interview article before the photos were published. Contributing editor Sam Kashner followed up after the leak, giving the 23-year-old the opportunity to respond to the situation. Jennifer explains, I started writing an apology but I have nothing to say I'm sorry for. I've been in a loving, healthy, wonderful relationship for four years. It was long distance, and either your boyfriend is going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. It's a sex crime. It's sexual violation. It's disgusting. The law needs to change, and we need to change, she told Kashner. Along with a number of other actresses including Kirsten Dunst, Winona Ryder and Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer's iCloud account was hacked and personal photos were taken and posted online. Originating on the forum-based website 4chan, these photos quickly spread across social media and other celebrities, all women until Hulk Hogan's son Nick fell victim just days before, were threatened that their photos would be next. The actress says that no matter how famous she is or how much money she makes from the Hunger Games, nothing is worth calling your dad and explaining what happened. She admits that even people she knows and loves have looked at the photos, but anyone who looked at it or shared it should be ashamed. I don't want to get angry, but at the same time I'm thinking, I didn't tell you that you could look at my naked body. The interview continues to talk about Jennifer's interests, hopes and aspirations, as well as her thoughts on relationships. She seems to be weathering the storm well. She now says the photos no longer make her cry, and that she does not depend on her future happiness on the perpetrators being caught, should that never happen. I just need to find my peace. 